Good morning, my name is Kayla Hobson, and I will be giving you a speech about Audrey Hepburn. Did you know Audrey Hepburn spoke six languages? This includes English, Dutch, Italian, Spanish, German, and French. I have gathered articles and done research to get an ins insight of her life. I will teach you about her childhood, careers, and achievements. In the biography, The Immortal Audrey Hepburn by Polly Flander, it states that her real name was Ella Kathleen Hepburn Rustin. Her mother name was Ella Van Hemstra, and her father, a British financer, was Joseph Victor Anthony Hepburn Rustin. She was born in Brussels, Belgium on May the 4th, 1929. She was raised with her two brothers, Jane and Alexander, from her mother's previous marriage. At six years old, her father left and divorced her mother. Her mother decided to move the family to the Netherlands and then move Audrey to England. The war in England became worse, so they moved back to the Netherlands where Audrey started her ballet lessons. During the war, her family faced many hardships. She became malnourished and anemic. The UNICEF organization gave her food and medicine, which helped her gain back her strength. During this time, her mother, her mother moved her back to England, where she got accepted into London's ballet, Rembrandt. They were poor, so she modeled and danced at a nightclub. During this time, she started to gain attention, so she changed her name to Audrey. According to Fiona Young Brown, 2008 Audrey Hepburn article from Biography Reference Center, she moved to New York to star in the Broadway Gigi. In 1953, she started her first major role in a movie called Roman Holiday. In 1954, she won a Tony Award for her role in Undyne and was nominated for an award in her role in Sabrina. She also played in movies like Funny Face, The Unforgiven, The Nun Story, and War and Peace. In 1961, the movie The Breakfast at Tiffany's was released. This movie helped her become a style icon, and she was recognized by Herbert D. Gavinci, a designer. And for this movie, she, won an, she was nominated for an Academy Award. When she was practicing for the movie My Fair Lady, she was thought to be singing in her role. But later she realized that Marnie Nixon was to replace her when it came to singing. It is said that she wouldn't have took the role if she knew they wouldn't be using her voice. Her husband, a producer, was making a movie that she was a part of. But also during this time, they were going through a divorce. This divorce caused her to stress and lose weight. During the 1970s and 1980s, she took fewer roles instead to focus on her two sons. This making her last movie, Always, which was released in 1989.
1988, she became a Goodwill Ambassador for the UNICEF. She took more than 50 trips around the world to help children that was facing hunger. She was also awarded a Presidential Medal of Freedom from the President George Bush. She was awarded in 1993 a Humanitarian Award. But in January 20th, 19. In 93, she, she died in her home, so she didn't get a chance to accept the award. After her death, her family made a foundation that raised over a million dollars to help children in Africa have education. I have taught you Audrey Hepburn, Childhood, Career, and Achievement. As many people celebrate Hemp Burns' acting career, her childhood events helped her become the person she is today. Thank you.